<laughs> exactly. And I tell you, we are leaning in, guys, because temperatures are really skyrocketing into the 90s by this afternoon. Temperatures already in the 70s across the board. We dipped a couple degrees in New York City, but huh, that's going to be short lived. It's going right back up. So we hit our lows by this afternoon. We'll hit our highs in the 90s mainly. Near the coast, it'll be a little bit cooler, and the haziness will continue as well. We have that marine layer. It offers a st stable layer as those temperatures cool to the dew point. Got a threat of fog. We're already noticing that. For the overnight, a threat of showers and storms is not going to be widespread or anything like that. It's just really isolated. Those heat indices will be rising. Values at around 95 New York City, 102 in Trenton. This is this afternoon, or Princeton rather. Trenton, the same thing because it's not too far off. And as we head into tomorrow afternoon, the same deal, nearing or exceeding that 100 degree mark and still quite hot for Thursday. So this stretch will continue for the time being the stretch of heat and humidity is what I'm talking about right now we're dry high pressure on either side of the stationary front and that stationary front will remain put for some time and that's going to reinforce some added unsettled conditions and we're also keeping an eye on barrel the remnants will impact us in one form or fashion I mean the center of it will be north and west of us right but a lot of that moisture from barrel will enter the picture right now we're looking at isolated downpours possible at around the five o'clock hour in central New Jersey not an all day washout not everybody's going to get it we'll have some breaks in the clouds some point and then some more showers eastern Long Island as we head into tomorrow afternoon but the main event arrives later on this was a little bit more widespread yesterday remember that but it's kind of fizzling out. I mean, a lot can change. We'll have more model runs and we'll bring you the latest. We're still tracking the potential for those heavy downpours for your Wednesday into Friday. And of course, we're tracking the Manhattan Henge as well. And the question is, will these showers clear out in time and the clouds clear out in time? It's hit or miss and we'll bring you the latest, but here's what one to two inches of rain possible locally higher amounts some areas maybe a little less we'll see how that goes and those winds may be gusting into the 30s maybe even higher locally there's a look at your seven day forecast so 80s and 90s a little bit of a dip come friday only to rebound again into the 90s by next week that's it for now we'll send it over to you alex